<clears throat> What's up? So, mud vein. Um, everybody's been asking me if I was going to make a video on the topic. But. I made a video on the topic two months ago, over two months ago, and I don't really have anything to add since I made that video. So I figured rather than make another video repeating myself, I would just talk to you guys about it and have a general discussion via live stream. So <clears throat> let's have an open uh, mud vein discussion. I guess you guys can ask what you want to know. I'll do my best to answer your questions. And uh, <clears throat> if it's interesting enough, I'll leave it up as a video <clears throat> once the stream is over. Sorry, my voice is like fucked. So yeah, uh, I don't know what really everybody expected me to make another video uh, about, like what, what I was supposed to say in another video. I literally said everything that's, that's pretty much happened to this point in that prediction video about their reunion show. Um, so, you guys ask me the questions, and I will do my best to get them answered for you. So, go ahead and drop them in here. We'll start looking. I'm seeing some anyway. So, uh, are you going to incarceration or louder than life to see Mudvayne? I think that it's going to be incarceration because uh, my friends Bishop and Covert uh, seem to be interested in there. So, uh, yeah, that one's, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would go to both, honestly be fucking sick i guess it just depends on like what what mud vein we're getting if we are getting cool mud vein i would love to go see both or whatever i met mud vein they're all a bunch of jerks their music is good but they're a bunch of douches i gotta disagree because ryan martini is an angel um i had an experience with him uh when he was doing um uh, fuck, what's that little jazz prog experimental thing he did? Soften the glare. Super nice guy. The rest of them, I don't know. I'm sure Matt is probably a cool dude. Do you think they will bring face paint back for these shows? That's the big question. I think that if... Yes, absolutely. It seems like all of the marketing that they've done so far has been direct LD50 callbacks and marketing and... Literally everything about uh, this return so far has been LD50 inspired. So I would say that they're probably going to do face paint. They know that everybody wants it. And uh, yeah. Would you be pissed if they played Hell Yeah songs? I would definitely not be stoked about that. And I would make very much fun of that. They're for sure doing face paint. No doubt about it. Why wouldn't they? Exactly. I don't really see a good reason why they wouldn't. I don't even think that they necessarily should bring back the LD50 face paint look. Maybe something that would have worked during LD50, but I, it's like I don't want to see Chad do a carbon copy of himself in <clears throat> 2001. <clears throat> if he wants to do something else that's cool, then it is what it is. Uh, it would just be cool to see LD50 style mud vein, if that makes sense. Do you think the mass radio play caused the band to fall apart and lose their sound? I think there was a few things responsible for that. The fact that LD50 was as good as, if not better, than Slipknot's self-titled album and Iowa, but Slipknot had already kind of put themselves up on this level and Mudvayne was still, like, new. Um... So Mudvayne was just always overshadowed. Uh, and they wanted to break away from whatever whatever that was. Uh, I do think, obviously, success 
being on the radio and making radio money has a has a has something to do with it. Uh, and I also think that uh, it's the same thing with Slipknot, man. Age, like, how do you make an album that's as heavy and as intense as LD50, and then come back and make another album that's as heavy and as intense as LD50? Like, you can't harbor that much hate when you've gotten it out via the music and touring and playing that shit every single night. And it's very obvious that Mudvayne gave their all during the LD50 era live. Uh, so I think that, I mean, what do you have to be angry about after releasing something like that and being successful with it? You know what I mean? It's hard to continue harboring <coughs> anger or whatever feelings that they were putting into that, that music at that time. So, uh, that's a good question. And I hope that my answer made sense. I feel like I kind of rambled there a little bit, but be crazy if they did a tour with the knot tattoo the earth. Bishop told me, uh, something he found out this morning that maybe sounds like that could possibly be a fucking thing. Um, I don't want to say what he said because I don't know if they want that out there, but do you think that they could possibly come out with an album next year? I mean, they could. Um, I wouldn't hold my breath on it, but who knows, man? Are they coming back with the original members? I don't think anyone knows yet. I would say so. I don't really think that they would do that without any of the original members, but we'll see. What is your favorite? Oh, wait. Do they ever wear masks? I think so. I think Ryan Martini wore a mask at one point. Just these shows are for reunion. As far as we know, it's only these shows. I hope Ryan is there. Yeah, I would want to see Ryan more than anybody, and I would definitely want to see Matt. Um, I saw one that I wanted to address that was about face paint. Just got to find it. I think it said something about your favorite face paint <clears throat> era. Um, obviously LD50, but I definitely have specific favorites of each person. Um, I'm not crazy about Chad's Joker thing. So like, I like the bullet hole. I like the silver face paint. I like the bloody stuff, but I don't necessarily like the Joker thing. So when he didn't do that, um, for instance, like, Ozfest, there's really good footage of him without the Joker thing, but he's still got the bullet hole and like silverish face paint, black and white face paint, whatever. Uh, I really like that. Just like the dirty, not so clean, not so crispy look. I like that. Um, why would we answer questions about Slipknot on a fucking Mudbane video uh, live stream? Uh, Matt had a couple that I really liked. He had one that was. Uh, almost pure white with just blood speckle all over him, all the way down his chest and stuff. He also had like a, t a Tide car look. <clears throat> I think it might've been Ozfest as well. The, like the really good footage you can find, but he's like, he's got like ramen noodle hair and then he's got like orange and yellow and white face paint. It's real tropical looking. It, it's not really like intense or scary, but it just like doesn't make sense. I really enjoy that look. Um, when it comes to Ryan, uh, not not his looks were never really my favorite, so I don't really uh, care. Whatever, just LD50 Ryan, I guess, in general. And when it comes to... Uh, wait, who have I done so far? I guess... Okay, so Greg is the only one left. Yeah, I did Matt. I did Chad. I did Ryan. Okay, so Greg's the only one left. Uh, again, don't really care. Um... He had ye black and yellow face paint at one time, and they were doing the white suits, and he had a clear guitar. I think that's probably my favorite look for him, so. Yeah, Greg's persona is fucking weird. To be able to keep that, like, weird robotic, no intensity, no, like, emotion whatsoever <clears throat> through an entire set is pretty neat, so. The face paint brought more energetic songs. I agree. And the reason that they were doing it was so pure. It was like, you can hear Matt doing an interview where he talks about how other bands don't have that. Like, <coughs> a lot of other bands don't have that. Like, suiting up for war almost. Like, putting on war paint. I always like that. So, um, yeah, I feel like they, they lost. Uh, literally, it's Mudvayne, man. Like, they wear face paint. That'd be like Slipknot playing without masks. Just doesn't make sense. 
What do you think about Happy? Uh, I mean, whatever. It's okay for a radio song. It's just, I mean, there is nothing after LD50 that could possibly be compared to LD50. It's just the way that it is. The worst song on LD50 is better than the best song on any other album. Um, the End of All Things to Come is a decent album. I, I remember getting that CD when I was younger. I played the shit out of it, but it still just wasn't... It just wasn't the same band. So... Yeah. And I actually have seen people, like, disagreeing with that, and it's one of those things where it's like, I get everybody has an opinion, but it's fucking insane that somebody out there thinks, that anybody out there thinks that, like, LD50 wasn't good, or uh, LD50 isn't the best, or whatever. It's like, I just find that very, very hard to believe. Yeah, LD50 is hands down... <clears throat> I've said it a million times. I think it's one of, if not the greatest metal album of all time. It's just so fucking good. And yeah, like, sure, 100% fact, LD50 is the most underrated metal album of all time. They did not get the praise that they deserved, and they were so fucking far ahead of their time <clears throat> with everything. Like, the music, the fucking uh, marketing, the weird shit, the look. Uh, they were just so far ahead of their time with that record, so. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Froze for a weird amount of time there, but, uh, <clears throat> anyways, I don't know when, like where exactly I cut off. I was saying, fuck Slayer for one thing, and for two, um, yeah, uh, LD50 is the most underrated metal album of all time. That's what, that's where I was going with that, so. Uh, more questions, please. Let's go. Let's talk about incarceration. All right, let's talk about it. Yeah, somebody said it'd be cool if they made a face paint mask of each member. Did you know that fucking Mudvayne released uh, actual Mudvayne face paint with LD50? I wish that I could find some. I've seen one, ever. It was like some Slipknot collector on uh, uh, Instagram posted, and I was like, holy shit, I would love to find that. What'd you think of the alien masks they wore? It was alright. I mean, it <clears throat> still wasn't LD50 for me, but... They were like, I mean, it's still theatrical, so. Have you seen Mudvayne in concert? I have not. That's one of those ones that I always answer and say when people are like, hey, who's one band that you've never seen or whatever? I've always said Mudvayne. They've always been on the list. <clears throat> so if we can make this happen. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, easy. Did you send me that? The guy was actually Lou. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Easy sent me the photo of this guy, Lou Brutus, who owns, like, a lot of random band shit. I think he might be, like, a photographer, just good friends with bands. He does something in the industry, though, because he's got all kinds of shit. He owns Paul's Grill Mouth, Iowa, as well. Good call, Easy. Um, what I was going to say is we should fucking, uh, we should get a Mudvayne interview on the channel. Let's make that fucking happen. <clears throat> Petition to get the House of Masks to interview Mudvayne at incarceration. Let's get it going. That would be sick, because I would ask him cool questions that matter about theatrical music. I show up with my face painted all shitty like Chad. I'm like total this like, like fanboy about it. I make it real weird. That would be fucking sick. We should see if we can make that happen. Hard to do that shit with COVID now, but... Six feet apart with a mask on, I guess. <clears throat> when passion's lost and all the trust is gone. Now I got fucking uh, The End of All Thing to Come song stuck in my head. 
AJ's in overalls with his custom painted mask. Hell yeah, dude. I hit up Joey Simpson and see if I can get my Chad Gray fucking bullet one back for the day. Mushroom head goat. Yeah, they are the greatest of all time at being the worst of all time. Any new music leaks? No, not that I'm aware of. You think Mudvayne are reuniting for money or because they actually wanted to? I think they're reuniting because it's fucking time. Uh, I don't believe that there's going to be a lot of money in the reuniting. I think anybody in the music industry probably knows that uh, there's just not a lot of money to be made from that type of shit. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are going to get paid, but... Um, yeah, back by po popular demand, like Superior said. Do you have any ideas for what you would like to see for the face paint or predictions? No, not necessarily. Um, <clears throat> I don't necessarily want to see like carbon copies of Mudvayne from 2001. Uh, but I would like to see Mud Mudvayne like LD50 uh, style face paint. Does that make sense? So they don't have to do exactly what they've done a million times, but do something that feels like LD50. You can do new shit to make it feel like LD50. Dad says, what shirt are you wearing? This is a Baphomet shirt. I think that it's like, I didn't realize it till after it came, but I think it's like the Jay Weinberg logo, but like slightly different. So I almost like feel bad for wearing it because it's not a real Jay Weinberg one. So now I got to go order some Jay Weinberg clothes because I feel bad. But uh, I like long sleeves and this was free, so. <clears throat> Modernized face paint of LD50 Air, yes. Yes, Slipknot. I love Slipknot. How to spot a disability. Just out of curiosity, what about Mushroom Head do you hate the most? My bad if you already said why. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. This isn't the stream for it, so we're going to try to keep it uh, Mudvayne related. Um, but, I don't know. Mushroom Head's just generic. Everything about him's fucking generic. They're too try-hard. With the fucking pot leaf masks, the rebel flag masks, their music sounded like it was recorded and produced like one garage band by someone that just learned how to use garage band. I don't know, just fucking they're dumb. Shitty attitudes. Favorite Mudvayne song. I bounce back and forth a lot, but I think the most consistent one for me is probably uh, it's probably a tie between Prod and Severed. Nothing to gain uh, right after that. I wish I could go see them, but this is when living in Iowa sucks. Dude, that's a short flight. Hey, Brent's Bricks. Sorry, I texted you before this stream started. <coughs> Do you want to shoot that video today? I uh, didn't get any packages at the post office, so I figured I would go and uh, shoot my segment and then maybe see yeah, what you're doing. If you want to shoot your... Oh, and passion's lost. Ryan Martini at this point is the star of the group, to be honest. You are not wrong about that. That dude is a crazy talented guy. Internal Primates Forever is good. Uh, yeah, unless that's a fake. Um, unless that's a fake fucking flyer. Slipknot headlines Friday, Mudvayne Saturday. What, Rob Zombie? The other one. Fun fact, my drum teacher is the old drummer of White Zombie. That's pretty cool. Didn't one of the drummers pass away recently? Maybe not recently, but just in general. Have you seen Mudvayne live? No, I have not. 
Yeah, King Freak. I actually don't hate that song, which is surprising because I don't like anything that Rob Zombie's done for the last 20 years. Are we talking about Mudvayne here? Nope. This is most certainly not the Let's Talk About Mudvayne stream. Ivan Duprum. See if he can send me something cool. I need some white zombie shit. <clears throat> In my collection. Stage use sticks or something would be fucking sick. Because look. Right here in the office. Boop. Yeah, nope. This is not the Mudvayne stream. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Do you think Guar will ever be your favorite band? I don't know if that's a troll question. That's got to be a troll question, right? How many times have I said that Guar is my favorite band? I mean, yeah, technically, I do think... That at some point I will think Guar is my favorite band, like yesterday, and last year, and tomorrow. <clears throat> Do you think Chad's voice will still sound good playing LD50 songs? I hope so. In a video you said Slipknot is your favorite band. Well, I have two favorite bands. I've mentioned this on many occasions. They are tied, Guar and Slipknot, for two different reasons. But I've always said that if I had to choose one, it would be Guar. I'm sad that got tickets to Sleeve Slipknot, but they canceled. Okay. You better believe if this shit goes down, it is going to be a fucking party. How different do you think LD50 would have been if Clown hadn't taken part in producing it? Not sure, but I do know that Mudvayne was not stoked about working with him. I remember an interview somewhere, years down the road, where they talked about, I think it was Matt in particular, was talking about working with Clown, and you could just tell he was like, <clears throat> fuck that guy. Always wanted to get into Guar, but never liked it. What album do you recommend listening to first get into them? Well, my favorite album is War Party. Super fucking heavy. Pretty technical for the time, I'd say. And uh, it's fucking solid, man. I think Matt and I seen Mudvayne years ago. You are probably right. Eddie M., you are fucking obnoxious dude like just admit just say that you're in love with me and get it over with too self-important for me i feel like mudvayne taking the main stage will be like log doing not fest after randy got out oh lamb of god um i don't really give a shit about lamb of god so i don't know what that means but yeah 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 I remember Serb sandwiches. Mudvayne sucks, lol. Wow, you're fucking cool, dude. I bet everybody really enjoys having you in their life. Let the kids out of your basement, please. They are hungry. Dead kids can't be hungry. If Joey got back into Slipknot, I would cry. Uh, that's silly. Why would you want Joey back in Slipknot? Not only would it not be the same at all, but also he uh, did not do any favors for Slipknot the last fucking five years he was in the band. <clears throat> Mudvayne of Slayer. Those certainly are words that you just said there. Not sure what they mean, but they are words. I wonder if the original bass player from Mudvayne is returning. He's one of the best. I don't see why he wouldn't. 
You should watch Wes Scantlin singing Nirvana. Isn't that meme like a year old? This dude's acting like he just fucking found it. Like, holy shit, dude, he butchered this fucking, you guys gotta see this video. The stream is, it's gonna turn into me just fucking being mean cause that, like all the good comments are leaving and we're slowly just getting dumber and dumber con comments. Are there any newer bands you recommend? Oh, Batushka for sure. Good Batushka, real Batushka. If Joey got back, I wouldn't mind because he is good, but I think Joey and Jay are both really good. Blah, 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 blah. Joey cannot hold a candle to Jay, regardless of who you like better. Jay is a technically more skilled drummer and he has saved Slipknot. Just to accept it. The reason that we have Slipknot right now and decent Slipknot is because of Jay Weinberg. Thank you, Gather Cole, just for dealing with all these ridiculous comments. Yeah. I should have put super chats in the title. <clears throat> um, thank you. Latushka is pretty solid, but I got tired of hearing their music after a while. Sucks to be you. I'm like two two years into listening to Litter Gee almost every day, and I still love it. Top five songs by Mudvayne that you recommend. Uh, Prod, Severed, Cradle, Nothing to Gain. I don't know if I should go like radio, like Simpleton Majority and say Death Blooms, or if I should go Internal Primates, but I'll tie those so you get six. Jay has saved Slipknot. Yes, Jay has. Yes, he has. What is something you listen to that's not rock or metal based? I'm curious. Well, I listen to Billy Strings more than anything right now. And he's bluegrass. Uh, I listen to Lil Wayne a lot. Do you feel girly when you paint your nails? Um, I don't paint my nails. I don't think I've ever painted my own nails. Maybe once or twice. Uh, usually a female does it for me. So, no. Do you feel like a homosexual when you question what other men do with their appearance? You probably do. <clears throat> Favorite death from Halloween 2? Well, that's not a mudbin question, but uh, okay. Uh, probably the nurse lift, because he does it so casually and uh, effortlessly, and he's a normal-sized human, which makes it even scarier that he has this strength. So. What is your favorite Slipknot song? Hey, can we do a uh, Mudvayne stuff? This is a Mudvayne stream. Any chance you have a Chad mask? I have a couple that are painted like Chad, but they're not like Chad likeness. It's just like his face paint's done on other masks. Just say both. To what? What does that mean? You like how <clears throat> how I never heard anything else after the fa about the fingernail polish after that question. These people that comment this stuff about my nail polish don't realize how much like they're trying to call me gay for painting my nails, which is hilarious because it's twenty twenty one. Um, but they don't realize how fucking gay it is to be a grown man questioning the appearance of another grown man. Like, oh, I'm sorry, do you prefer your men to have unpainted nails? Whew, that's my favorite. That's my all-time favorite. Do you like Dig by Mudbane? I really don't. I mean, it's like a nostalgic song, but it's probably the worst or the second weakest song on that album. Most of these commenters aren't grown men. Yeah, eh, whatever. We got everywhere from 12 to like 40 something, so. They are uh, 12 year olds stuck in grown men's bodies. 
to be honest. Who do you think has the best appearance in Mudvayne? Chad. LD50 Chad, for sure. Those loose-ass coveralls. Nasty wife beater underneath. Bullet hole in the head. That's lit. It's weird, too, because I always think about the fact that... Uh, at, like, how the fuck do you go from being that and looking like that and writing the music that he wrote and, and like, singing the way that he sang to, to going to hell yeah? It's, like, fucking insane. <clears throat> did Mudvayne ever play with Slipknot? Yeah, they did uh, Ozfest together, 2001, and they did uh, Tattoo the Earth. What's the worst song on LD50? I really don't like... Uh, I can't think of the fucking name of it right now. I am everything, I am nothing, I am everything, I am nothing. It's just such a simple, repetitive, like, annoying song. Very curious about this tropical style paint you mentioned before. I like the colors you listed. Yeah, go check it out. It's, a, it's the mud vein. Ozfest 2001 footage. Um, yeah, they barely show Matt because they, I mean, they almost never show Matt anyways. But he lo he reminds me of the Tide car. The old NASCAR Tide car. Orange, yellow, and white. Any certain live performance you watch over and over again? Well, Mudvayne. Ozfest 2001. Definitely watch that a lot. Uh, there's a lot of Batushka performances that I watch over and over and over again. I watch the live version of Turmoil and Tinfoil at the Grassroots thing from like three years ago by Billy Strings. So good. How many Mudvayne concerts have you been to? Zero. They had Tropical Face. I don't know why. Oh, God. Okay, I said that about one person in the band at one show and it was just matt so there's that everyone go check out the good life it's hilarious thanks dad thanks for the plug i did release a new good life video today it's pretty good if you guys want to go check it out i'll fucking i'll drop the link in here and go sub to that channel we're almost at four thousand subscribers i think we could probably hit four thousand subscribers today honestly <clears throat> so, let me look this video up. I will put the link in the chat. Everybody go subscribe to it or you're a fucking fat pussy. Here is the new video. And hell, just for good measure, I'm going to drop the channel link in there too. Alright. Don't be a dumb bitch. Go subscribe to my other channel. Appreciate you. Just started watching The Good Life, and I was missing out on a lot. It is a fun time. I, my only regret is not making that happen sooner. Are you going to vlog going to the Mudvayne show for The Good Life? Probably not for The Good Life, but I wouldn't mind doing that for The, uh, the House of Masks, because if I go, I'm going to be around a lot of my mask buds, and it will just be mask-related content, so... The Good Life video was the first thing I watched when I woke up. Thank you. I appreciate that. What'd you think? Would you like them to perform with or without face paint? Is that even a question? AJ, how did you get into Mudvayne? That is a good question as well. I actually remember exactly how I got into Mudvayne. Um, Matt Shipley, the guy that got me into Guar. He was best friends with my dad. He also helped me get into like Slipknot super heavy and he gave me my first mask, all that shit. He was living in California for a while and he was in bands and stuff and they went to the Tattoo the Earth tour and when they came back, he brought me like Slipknot stickers and blah, 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 but he also brought this Mudvayne cassette. It was a sampler cassette. I still have it. It's actually up in a tote up front. I can go grab it right now if you want me to. I'm going to do that just for proof. BRB.
We've got some treasures. Look at this, my dad brought me this the other day. I didn't know where they went. Turns out they were just in a tote at my dad's house. A little Slipknot windbreaker. I think the cassette is in the bottom tote, yeah. All right, so he came back from California and he brought me this, and obviously I had a Walkman and stuff. Uh, so I listened to that over and over and over, and I knew something was cool about him because, like, yeah, Dig was on there, but fucking Nothing to Gain was, like, so trippy to me with those fucking... And, like, Ryan's bass shit. I don't know. Super cool. But whatever. Uh... I, I was still a Slipknot head for sure, so I kind of ignored Mudvayne and just pushed him off and didn't really care. I also couldn't really comprehend music that was as technical as Mudvayne was at, the, at that time because I was very young. But then I had a friend named Josh Hopper whose dad was also like in a band with Matt Shipley and all this stuff. So like, they my my parents were friends with these people's parents and whatever. So me and Josh were real close and we both liked metal music, which was really... Um, not a common thing around here, especially for our age group. So we would like spend the night at each other's houses. And when he would stay with me, we would watch disaster pieces and welcome to our neighborhood and all that shit. But when I would go stay with him, he had fucking, um, lethal dosage, uh, live dosage on, uh, VHS. And we would watch the fuck out of that. And it was so cool. And I was always so curious what was in that fucking suitcase. So anyways, those are my, uh, <clears throat> my mud vein. Memories, that's how I got into Mudbane. I really, uh, I see all the kind comments about the good life. I appreciate that. I've been uh, really, really trying with that channel. Um, not in a sense of like <clears throat> try hard type shit. I just, I really have been wanting it to succeed and uh, I'm glad that people are digging it and uh, I appreciate everybody that's going over there and showing it some love. So thank you along with a bunch of others and still do Metallica and Pantera, uh, Pantera home videos. Welcome to our neighborhood. Yes. I miss when that was a regular thing, when bands just put out DVDs and shit, live DVDs, behind the scenes stuff. All that shit. I miss those days. Oh, good life is awesome. Thank you. Uh, this last video is funny as fuck because Mash is the funniest person I've ever met in my life. And he is definitely the star of the last video. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
hell, we might hit 4,000 subs on the good life on this uh, stream. That would be cool. <clears throat> I'm going to drop the link in the fucking chat again. Why not promote myself? Fuck it. Can you do more action videos to drummers and bands? I have mentioned this. Uh, I'm running out of... Uh, bands to do masked drummer reviews because there's just not that many great uh, drum camps. And I don't want to keep doing the same bands. Like, obviously I could do a bunch of J's or whatever. So. Some of those bump nose paint-ups always reminded me of Mudvayne as well. Super cool shit. Yes, no doubt. Just subbed to the good life. Hey, thank you. What mac and cheese do you recommend? Your mom's? Do a reaction to the Berserker. Do they have a drum cam? Hell yeah, we're going to do it. I think we need like less than 10 more subs. We're going to be at 4K. Okay. If they have a drum cam, then fuck it. I'll do it today and release it tomorrow. Who's your favorite drummer of all time? Well, obviously, my most influential drummer that I've that has influenced me the most and that I've cared about the most in my entire life is obviously Joey Jordison. Um, he just, I based my entire life off of him from the time that I was very young to still right now, I take influence from him all the time. Um, I really, really like Jay as well. So there's that. Do I think Joey's the best drummer in the world? No, I'm just saying he's my most influential. Have you done a J drum cam? Yes, I have. Go watch it. Best Mudvayne song. Like I said... Either prod or severed. Just depends on what day it is. <clears throat> Please do more mushroom head content. Why? The sad thing is, I really don't think that that is a troll comment. I think that that is a legitimate comment. I think, I think that's real. You can never tell on the internet. Can we just talk about Mudvayne? That's what I'm saying. Everybody knows that Mushroom Head is Dollar Store Slipknot. And now everybody knows that you're mentally retarded. Hey, we hit 4K. Hell yeah. Thank you guys. 4K on the good life. Fucking sick. I want to do a, uh, <clears throat> I want to do a live stream on the good life with Doug and Brent and Cameron. Uh, it'd be cool if we could get mashed down here. Just everybody that like, uh, everybody that's kind of involved with the channel come hang out for a live stream so everybody can talk to them too. Cause they are kind of just as much stars of the show as I am. I think that'd be sick. And then we could also promote their stuff, like Brent's Bricks. Everybody go subscribe to Brent's Bricks. Uh, Cameron's got Wheelmore. So. Remember when every one of your fans got mad at you for having an opinion? That's every day, man. Everybody loves the fact that I have my own opinions and I say what I want to say until I say something that they don't like. Then all of, a, all of a sudden they're like, well, you're just a fucking dick. You just blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, you thought it was hilarious when I was being a dick to this guy because you agreed with me, but now all of a sudden. Are you still doing locals only? No.
at the end of your videos when you say, say no to drugs and alcohol and mushroom head. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, but can we honestly say that it's an opinion that LD50 is better than anything that Slipknot's ever released? Because I'm pretty sure that's a fact. Has the drummer from Mudvayne ever been an influence on you? Yes. Um, briefly, it definitely wasn't like a Joey Jordison thing. It definitely wasn't like a Guar thing. Uh, I, I went from Joey Jordison to heavy into Guar, so I was like using Jizmac as a super... I was trying to like tone myself back almost, if that makes sense. And I would try to play things harder, simple things harder in the manner that Jizmac does. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I definitely went through a, a Matt McDonald stage for sure. Have you ever done drugs, alcohol, or mushroom head? No. What I personally like about Mudbane is that they're heavy, like Slipknot, but more technical, like System of a Down. There is so much wrong with that comment, I don't even know where to start. Yeah, the behind-the-scenes footage for the Dig video is sick, dude. And Matt is just ripping the sa that same just double, double bass heavy song over and over again. I feel bad for him. Why do you say no to alcohol? Well, I have a brain. I think it's um, absolutely unfucking real that alcohol is legal, let alone as normalized as it is. And it's very clear why it's legal and as normalized as it is. And I can't believe so many people fall for it uh, and want to be that person. Like, uh, I want to pay money for something that doesn't last, will serve me literally no good purpose whatsoever will literally be pissed away. I want to feel like shit, taste something disgusting, uh, and make bad decisions. It just, it makes no fucking sense to me. And like, well, I like it for the taste. Um, whatever you enjoy about the taste, there is something out there that's alcohol-free that tastes way better because there's no alcohol in it. <clears throat> We all got our vices. Yeah, some vices are healthy and some aren't. I wouldn't call uh, the things that I do a vice uh, because I collect and my collection makes me money and it's my passion and my hobby and my love and there's literally no negative effect from it so Hey, look, someone that uh, didn't get enough attention from their parents when they were children. Since when you started liking Slipknot? Yes. Oh my god. You guys ever like, I know this sounds bad. Um, you see people that like talk about how fake COVID is and shit, and then uh, that person gets COVID. Ah, it shouldn't be funny to me, but.
Do you ever get together with your friends and jam? Uh, not too often, man. My friend uh, Corey got a drum set recently that we kind of started. I mean, we messed around with it once, but it was in the good life, so. <clears throat> I would like to hear Chad's thoughts on a lot of things. I honestly think that if we could set up an interview, it would be fucking dope. Dope, dope, dope. Where did I Hate AJ Good go? I just noticed I haven't seen it in a while. You must be looking in the wrong places, because I fucking hear it every day. Me and Gabe sat on the bench for five minutes yesterday and had some girl drive by. Just fucking scream it at us. Yesterday. I Hate AJ Good. Whoa! We were like, okay, I did this. And that was it. What song do you keep singing? Here, I'll play it for you. If I play this, we need super chats because this fucking thing's going to get demonetized. Let me uh, go to my playlist here. Go to my playlist. A lot of these fucking ads, man. So good. Hopefully that's not enough to get me demonetized. So underrated. Hey, Gangrel. Thank you. Appreciate that. Can you do a sick backflip? I learned backflips a couple years ago. They're definitely not sick, but they are something. They're backflips. That's, that's for sure. One of the hardest breaks. That shit go hard. One of the hardest breakdowns. Did you see Limp Biscuit is playing the whole Chocolate Starfish album at Fest? No, I did not. I don't think that's enough for copyright claim. Dude, I've had shit get copyrighted at like 20 seconds. Usually right around 10 seconds. Sometimes it's like fucking 8 I'm like, what? And that was uh, 14 seconds, so we'll see. We'll see. Also, I will uh, do something very nice for whoever can fucking find me. That Mudvayne LD50 fucking makeup. Easy knows what I'm talking about. Um, I'll have to find the picture and post it. I really would fucking love that. So if somebody can find me that, I will hook them up with something. I, I don't know what, but I something. Something cool. Something cool. Yeah, it's fucking literally... Mud vein makeup. All right, y'all. I am dropping today's Good Life episode in the chat again, and I am going to head out. This has uh, been fun. Appreciate you guys hanging out. It was a nice stream. Uh, appreciate the super chatters that were here and there. If anybody wants to hit me with a uh, super chat before we go, I would greatly appreciate it because I didn't put a video out on the House of Masks channel today. Didn't get any mail. So, yeah. Um, 
yeah, appreciate you guys. All right, uh, go enjoy the Good Life content. Thanks to everybody that's subscribing over there and showing me love over there. Much appreciated. We still need three more people on Patreon to hit our uh, goal this month, so go over there and sign up for that too. Be the real MVPs. All right, take care, guys.